I come before you today with a somewhat heavy heart and a humbled spirit. For many years, the Seven Mountain Mandate was a large part of my theology. Its concepts and teachings were ushered into mainstream society quickly, and uh, when I was introduced to them, I immediately embraced them. In my service as a teacher in several churches, I have echoed the teaching of C. Peter Wagner including the ideal of the Seven Mountain Mandate. And uh, from here, I'll refer to it simply as the Seven M. And like many of us uh, who was introduced to this uh, concept, I believe that uh, as a church, we were called to have dominion over society by taking control of the seven key areas of influence that shape society, which the mountains represented. At the time, it just made sense in consideration of the great commission that we were called to obtain. The 7M or Seven Mountain Mandate assumes that leadership is about rulership and exerting control from the top down to affect change. The doctrine of 7M was birthed and flowed from the Christian organization known as the NAR of the New Apostolic Reformation Movement. And one of the pioneers and chief theologians of NAR was C. Peter Wagner. Mr. Wagner has passed on now and the organization has taken on a different agenda, message and even method. It has taken on a major shift that I now am not comfortable. 